Baking is a science. Baking is a science. Okay. Cooking is, you know, you can add a little of this, add a little of this, you know. And That's what they did. It's tough to do. No, but they only did that at my house. They did that. No, she said, I said, well, how much of this do we, they were instructing people on how to make a cheesecake. And on the television show, and I said, well, how much do you need? Oh, just a little bit of that. Well, that was a flavor. I'm like, that's, that's a measurement. Rachel Ray, Rachel Ray, Rachel Ray, she's like, let's sprinkle here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. I haven't tried to make a cheesecake. Now, from the people in our audience, how many of you have actually baked a cheesecake before? Oh, we have people. Oh, that's oh. Okay, that's 50%. That's 50%. For those of you who, who don't remember. I don't mind repeating it. They're, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> repeat it. We're going to repeat it. Repeat it. We're not but scared. I was told, but I, I had a friend who said to me, Gail, do not get on that tangent today on cheesecake. Because you can tell me what you want to I did not like the show with Chris Rock and Oprah Winfrey oh, the hair on the Good Hair show. Good Hair, the movie Good Hair. If I saw Chris Rock, I would say, Chris, I think I understand what you were trying to do and what you were trying to say. And I do believe that your young daughters deserve an answer when they ask you why their hair isn't long and flowing and move in the way the little white girl's hair. But you went about it the wrong way, Chris. You made fun of black women. And we don't need to be made fun of at this point in time. We don't ever need to be made fun of. We're the most copied women in the world. Whatever way a black woman wants to wear her hair is her business. And you, how dare you take away the mystique of how we get it, how we do it. And I don't believe that black women want to be white women. As a matter of fact, I won't go there. I was in my house when I said it. <laughs> and no, which is true. Now, I, I don't think you're controversial in your own home. And when I saw him op on Oprah, I was so disappointed. Because there was a black woman who made a point in an email. She, all the reasons why, at this point in our history, it did not need to be discussed. In, in other words, you don't have to discuss this now. Why do we have to hear how we do something as opposed to how white women do something. All women just wanted to be pretty, which is what a white woman said. She said, well, well I just want to be pretty when they talked about the fact that she colored her hair and she didn't wear a weave. No, she wore extensions. And when black, white women perm their hair to get curly, it's a perm. He calls what we use cream crack. He brought it down to a degrading, denigrating way of seeing black women do nothing more than anybody else. I was yes. reporting. Thank there you go. <laughs> okay, that makes we sense. With, but you did get an opportunity to talk about something that's very controversial right now in America, which is women and their hair, especially ethnic women, and how they get their hair to look the way that it looks. That's, that's not the part I cared about. <laughs> not very well, her, her, part, her, part, her part that she cared about was we were giving up a secret. No. 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 See. <laughs> How controversial could I have been if you guys didn't get it? I'm tired of the fact that we cannot get past and outgrow the childish behavior from some of the people we want to respect the most. French Vogue just did a whole piece where they put black face on white models rather than use black models. We are not in a time that we can allow people to denigrate, let alone, not our own people, because when our own people make fun of us, that entitles the rest of the world to make fun of us. I <laughs> get disgusted over the conversation about good and bad hair, dark and light skin. But there was another part that you spoke on when you said that, because Oprah said that her hair did not break off. Uh, I didn't like her attitude towards the women in the audience who questioned 
how she did her own hair because she made a yeah. point mm -hmm. of saying from the top of the show that her hair was was, was hers, all hers real. real. Let Chris Rock run his fingers yes. through her hair. With <laughs> and, she, and, she, and she kept going. Uh, and, and but what she she was very condescending and patronizing yes. to the women when she said, "I've had a hairdresser for 35 years." My hair doesn't break off, yeah. regardless of okay. whether all of it was hers or part of it was hers. I didn't care. Right. It was the conditions to which they spoke and brought the subject into conversation. Okay. Ben, do you care about any of this? Yeah, you know, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have these problems. No. <laughs> it's all about the hair. It's all about the hair. It's, it's <laughs> all about the hair because Ben is looking You don't like, either. But you are... Uh, green-eyed, light-skinned woman of color. You can wear your hair natural, and it's curly, and it's wild, and it's, it's beautiful. And then if you had a dark-complected black woman with very full lips who did the exact same hairstyle, then she looks ghetto. She looked divine. To you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you know how you can't tell a book by its color? I could, I could agree. My heart is as black as the ace of spades. You understand it? Okay. Okay. What people don't understand is color. I have no control over my color. What I do have control over is how I protect my culture. So we're going to switch our seats now. Ben has to go. Thanks, Thank Ben. Hey, Bye. pleasure. Bye. Always a pleasure. Bye. And, Bye. and now, Bye. yes, Ben. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And we're going to replace Ben with a crazy woman. <laughs> I was one of the top interior designers in, in Detroit. And <laughs> don't fall off now. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. I was one of the top interior designers in Detroit and I got to be so popular that I needed a publicist. And the, Donna was the very first publicist that I ever used. Donna, you've had a chance to see, because you're in Miami, so you don't get a chance to see all the shows. What was it like being on the show? It was fun. It was great. It was great. It was great seeing uh, Lorenzo, because we hadn't seen each other in quite some time, uh, and also his sister Kim. And uh, we had a great time, and to be a woman, no, as, as a woman behind Lucas Shea, it's, it's a privilege and an honor, to say the least. Where's my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, where's my check after what you just said? Well,